week in a bizarre and insecure act of performative petulance, the House of Representatives voted to condemn the horrors of socialism. And before we blame the Republicans, which we should, we should note that about half the Democrats voted for this as well, including Nancy Pelosi, including Adam Schiff, including a number of other high-profile Democrats. Not all of them did, but about half. That's a very rough number. This is such a bizarre thing to do, and it really reflects the insecurity of the United States House of Representatives. First of all, obviously, there were terrible things done in many communist countries, Stalinism, the Khmer Rouge, the Cultural Revolution. But <clears throat> today's Republican Party conflates any social program with socialism. You want to raise the marginal tax around the wealthiest a few points, you're a socialist. You want to provide health care like pretty much every other modern country, you're a socialist. So they are against all of that, and they think all of that is somehow akin to Stalinism. And that is absurd. And anybody with a modicum of education about the past knows that isn't true. But that speaks to the, the Republicans having nothing to do or say other than that. But the fact that the Democrats, so many Democrats, went along with it is appalling. But it also tells us why maybe Democrats haven't pushed hard enough on, I don't know, raising the minimum wage to $15 or more, meaningfully taxing the wealthy to provide social services. They're not just afraid of being red-baited. They're involved in the red-baiting themselves.